Hey, good evening, everybody. Spirit of 420 here because everything I do, 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 everything I do, 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 is so, so 420. Oh, uh, anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and clear my throat right away because that was not good. So, apparently, last night I kept saying it was Friday. Um, I knew it wasn't because I was, I think I was just saying it because uh, I was thinking about the fact that I was doing this comical book reading um tonight which it's comical because it is a parody in an in and of itself but uh hopefully you'll enjoy it and i'm gonna do this thing is about uh, a little over 140 so i'm gonna do about 35 36 pages or so um split it up into four parts keep it keep it modest don't want to be going too too terribly long right So I hope all of you are having a wonderful, uh, a wonderful week and a wonderful start to your weekend. You know, before I get into this, I'll tell you, I, uh, I keep doing all this, uh, and it's all new, uh, to me. And what I mean by this is, you know, broadcasting live and, and talking to the world and <clears throat> tweeting to the world and, and <clears throat> all the different things um, that are going on, you know, it's all relatively new, um, new to me in the sense of doing it like this. So it's funny because when you put yourself un out there like that, you also kind of put yourself under uh, a microscope, if you will. And I'm not even talking about the one that the, the world puts you under. I'm talking about the one you put yourself under, right? I don't ever remember scrutinizing myself as much as I do now. And then I just, I stop and I'm like, Hey, that's not why you're doing it. So I remind myself, but, um, it's funny because that's probably more prevalent in this than it is with just, you know, everyday life, which most of us beat the shit out of ourselves anyway. So it's really easy doing this to, you know, have another reason to kick your own ass. That's all I'm saying. Just a thought. Although that's not what I'm doing. I'm having fun with it. And I know that, uh, you know, my family and my friends and the people that uh, are close to me and the ones that tune in and give a shit, they're having fun with it too. So that's all that matters. So tonight's book. Yep. There it is. Y'all see it on the screen, but, uh, Panda the Cat and the Dreadful Teddy, a parody by Paul Mars. And you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to clean a spot for my ashtray lid. There we go. I have a really cool ashtray, and I'll tell you the story behind it someday. Um, but I know you can't really see too well in that small little camera, but um, there you go. You can probably tell enough that that this is brass and it has uh, three little deals, right? It's actually the bottom of a uh, what is it? I don't even know what caliber. I'll have to look. 
I can't remember right now, but um, off a battleship, it's the bottom half of a brass casing is what that from <coughs> 1945. So that's from World War II, which I think is pretty cool. It's a piece of history. I, I'm pretty sure it's off uh, the battleship that my, my grandfather was on. But that's a discussion for another day. Let's get into some laughs. Because that's really why I was doing this one tonight. Oops. Trying to get on the same page here. Okay, this is just title, so we'll just get right into it. Oops. There it is. <laughs> I was trying to get back to the to the proper window so we could actually, you know, move forward. There. The Path of Canada and the Drip Teddy da, da. Paul Mars. And as you can see, it's very clear right there that it's a silent G. So I can't see how this would be pronounced any other way than Mars. All right. For Jeremy. And away we go. Uh, you know what? I will say this. I'm going to back out just one second um, because this part is for Jeremy too. The dude that wrote this, Paul, um, love the guy. I love his sense of humor. And I think it's a wonderful book, which is why I'm sharing it. But man, his handwriting is atrocious as as uh, the dreadful Teddy, which um, that's all I'll say. I don't want to give it away. All right. So, well done. Thank you so, so much for buying my book. Out of all the books in the world, you chose mine. I'm so pleased. Gosh, it's so hard to concentrate just now, isn't it? With the world, how it is and everything. I hope my book can help you. Look at all the lovely pictures. <laughs> I'm Panda, and this book is all about me and my lovely friends. All of us living our best lives and learning to be kind to one another. That's what it's all about, isn't it? I think the whole point of making books is to make the world a better place. I'm here to lighten your load just a little bit. And so is the cat. The cat's quite nice. He can be a little bit selfish sometimes, I suppose. Just a little bit. Then there's Teddy, too. He can come across as very nice with his squeaky voice and looking so tiny and helpless. But I must warn you, Teddy can be a vicious little backstabber, actually. I'm not kidding, either. Plus, he's only gone and got himself his own book deal off the back of appearing in this one. But never mind, we must always try to be forgiving and kind and remember that life is a great big journey into a whole book filled with mostly blank pages. Hence the next page with Panda's dumb looking ass. <laughs> Don't worry, that's, that's in line with this book, so... Really, in the end, I think a book like this one is something like a lovely big hug. Yes, I do. A really lovely warm hug from someone you actually care about. And isn't it a hug what we and isn't a hug what we all really, really need? So here's a lovely hug from me to all of you. Not Teddy, though. He can go fuck himself. <laughs> That's the little arse hole I'm trying to avoid. I'm sure y'all can see Teddy in the background. I I have to say to um, to those th th that are that are tuning into this, it's really it's really fun to read this. This is like the perfect because it's small, so it really is that perfect toilet type book that you can read like. You know, pretty much in, in you can read it in, 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 in its entirety while you drop off the kids. I'm the cat. Hello. Oh, shit. 
It's that awful Teddy. I'm tiny, said Teddy, but I'm still so important. Are you bollocks? Panda told him. Hello, ladies. The panda. Uh, well, we'll we'll get into it here in a minute. Teddy told me that life is a kind of journey. Ugh. <laughs> Remember, Panda, you are important and you are loved, moron. I find that Teddy is full of tolerance and empathy, says the cat. Oh, says Panda, I find he's full of shit. <laughs> Be more Panda said panda <laughs> so let me just say this so i'll stop for a minute because i'm sure some people are like you know this is nothing like it but it really is i mean if you look at it you know the difference parodies in my personal opinion what makes a good parody is that there's somehow something true to the nature of the original right and the funny thing is and I'm not going to read it all, but you can already see that clearly Panda's the one calling Teddy the asshole, but it's Panda who is the absolute asshole in this story. And there's still the same factor. You have these three different characters that are all quite different, but yet they still continue to move forward and have a good, have a decent life, if you will. Have a life. And I'm sorry, but snow is moving in. <sighs> So, my nose is starting to do its thing again. I told you it's all from when Forrest uh, smacked the, did that right there. All right. I do like that one. Be more panda. That's hilarious. If you don't blow your own trumpet, no other fucker will. <laughs> I love to just continue to watch the looks on the cat's face through all these. It's pretty, it's pretty cute. Shitty weather again. So you can you can really start to see that I'm not I'm not wrong here, right? We're just so, so lucky to have each other as friends, said Teddy. And it's going to make a marvelous book. Life is like a roller coaster, says Teddy. Panda loudly wonders whether that bear will ever know how banal he is. I was not familiar with that word, but apparently that is a word. And I believe that I'm saying it correctly. B a n a l. Wasn't familiar with that word, but it is. An, it is a UK dude. Um, <clears throat> so I think it's like asinine, uh, pretty much. Uh, essentially, is the uh, probably a good American version of that word. Look how special we are. I love this. This is this is great irony. I mean, come on. That is like the worst drawing they've done so far, right? And I know some people have have shredded the drawing of the uh, of the originals that this is parodying, but they're actually quite beautiful, regardless. Panda, yes, cat. Teddy says that he sometimes feels so hopelessly confused and tiny, he needs to get a fucking grip. Said Panda. You know, I read that wrong. So let me, let me start over. Panda. Yes, cat. Teddy says he is sometimes so, he feels so hopelessly confused and tiny. He needs to get a fucking grip, says Panda. 
that's better. And it's actually funnier when you read it properly. So, geez, that's fucking whatever. Shit. I can't get down now. I can't get down. Fuck. Help. That's what happens when a panda cl- I, I've, I've never seen pandas up in the beard. Maybe they do climb. I don't know. Always, they're always sitting down eating bamboo. Like they pull the bamboo down. They're so huge. I don't even think they can climb up it. But I could be wrong. Today it's international. Don't listen to absolute fuckers talking complete shit day, said Panda. (laughs) No, thanks. I don't actually want a hug from you today. (laughs) Although I will say this, and I mean this. Isn't there days that we all feel like that? Again, good parody because it's pointing out truths, right? At the same time as being a little obnoxious and a little funny. But I know for a fact, dude, I mean, one of my favorite songs, and I'll just uh, throw it out there, which my wife turned me on to, and we have an argument as to who turned her on to the band. But uh, a little bit off uh, by five... Death, what is it? Five finger, (laughs) five finger death punch, I think is their name, whatever. Something like that. I can't remember their name right now, which is so sad because I am pretty ripped. I got really, really high before I did this, had some friends over. But five finger death punch, I'm pretty sure that's it. Regardless, a little bit off today is one of the one of my favorite songs. And my wife did turn me on to the song. There's no doubt about that. And I like it because it really just deals with the fact that there's days where you're just simply off and it doesn't matter how much of a positive person you are. It doesn't matter how much of a, you know, good person you are. I mean, dude, I've had some of those days where, I mean, and when I say these days, I'm talking at the height of having some of my best times overall where everything was going right. You know, all my boys were doing well. I was doing well. My wife was doing well parents doing well everybody's doing well everybody's making money everybody's uh, stable and blah 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 <clears throat> it's sometimes during those exact times that i'll have one of those days i don't know about you and it's just like you know i'm pissed i can't tell you why i'm just pissed it's almost like there is literally a user right and and i am nothing more than an npc at that point is how it feels sometimes because they just keyed in, you know, bad fucking mood today, pissed off of the world today. I didn't wake up feeling pissed off of the world. There's times where I'll wake up and, you know, I do all my positive affirmations, all the same things that I normally do, read all my little things, you know, grateful, thankful, blessed, all the ones that are around my room. But I don't feel grateful, thankful, or blessed, and I feel pissed off, angry, and fearful, you know. Because I think you're just supposed to. Why? Doesn't it come back to what I talk about all the time? Isn't this literally a great example of that? Just like everything else. It's a balance, right? If I'm having those great days, then almost inherently, even if, you know, what's funny is I'll go with the, uh, the psychotherapists and the way that they like to think about it. Let's say that the balance wasn't a real thing. Right. And and for me, the balance is comparable to the force. Okay. But let's say the balance wasn't the the thing that I believe it is. Right. And wasn't this real um, whatever you want to call it, that's this karma or whatever that's keeping things in track. Let's say that didn't exist. If nothing else, if we believe it, it does. And we make it happen. We literally with our own power of the mind we make it happen but here's again the funny thing is i started noticing that and reading about that well before and understanding that i would have these bad days well before i understood that i could be making it happen so then when i you know found what makes a lot more sense with you know quite honestly balance happening you know, if you're having five good days, you're going to have a bad one to remind you of how those days are good or else the good days won't seem that good anymore. And it doesn't take long, 30 good days in a row, and you'll be like, what the fuck? You'll be bored. 
trust me i have experienced it you know it's it's i'm talking from experience i'm not just talking from you know out of my patoot i should have read this on friday yeah or not or on monday it's motivational monday panda If you don't stop saying inspirational things to me, said Panda, I'm going to punch you up the hooter. <laughs> Cat's quiet. Existential crisis. All cats get them. <laughs> I, I particularly love this next page. Uh, for those of you who read or watched uh, The Boy, The Mole, and all that, you can absolutely see this one here bloody long winter isn't it or bloody long winter this you haven't got a fucking clue that's a pretty stern look on panda's face quite frankly you can't deny it Teddy, I'm so glad you feel that you're winning at life. Well done, you. Now piss off. Yeah, it's clearly funny because what's funny, uh, or uh, it's funny because Panda's the asshole. When I first read the jacket and was reading um, about the book before I got it, I was already laughing, except I really thought based, and they do it on purpose. I honestly thought Teddy was going to end up pulling some fucking crazy shit. I didn't know it was going to be Panda being the, the douchebag, you know. I love life, says Teddy. Isn't Teddy wonderful, says the cat. I hate him. <laughs> it's so important to make time for the things you are passionate about, says Teddy. And looks like Panda's very clearly passionate about that, that champagne glass that he has in his hand. Why not practice your mindfulness by coloring in the picture of Panda and the cat in a snowy field? Because it's all black and white, you absolute. I don't know this one. I don't know that you absolute. Anybody want to help me? It's right there at the bottom. You tell me what the hell that says. Hey, man. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Yep. That's going to be uh, just so everybody knows. Uh, Juice will be on. And I already have it posted, but Juice is going to be on Monday. Uh, shooting the shit and having a smoke sesh. And we'll leave this up there so y'all can help me figure out what fuck that says <clears throat> but juice will be on and we'll be shooting the shit with a whole new i'm sure he's got some brand new stories to tell us and we'll be getting high that'll be monday for those of you um who have never seen my channel that's going to be uh 8 uh 20 central 720 uh eastern or, yeah 720 mountain time uh, in the PM because uh, both of us, you know, work and uh, have to do that stuff before we sit around and get high on a podcast or a TV show or a YouTube show, whatever. But looking forward to it, Juice. Can't wait to see you, buddy. Hope you had a blessed day. And there we go. I had to get back these eyeballs or else I wouldn't be able. So, anybody? Because it's all black and white, you absolute something end. Bell end? Is that butt end? You butt end? I mean, it doesn't look like any T's there. And what's a bell end? I don't know if that's a British term or something, but I, I fuck it. I, 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 I don't have it. I don't have it, man. All right. So, in sorry. Art is for everyone says panda unless you're completely shit at it like the cat and teddy are <laughs> and that 
Uh, here, I'll show you this last one because it's really nothing to it. So, and that's this is where we'll kick off. Weow. I guess that's what the that's a weow because it's not meow. That's a weak ass cat. I'll tell you that. I think you'll like where it uh, where it picks off. Like I said, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna keep these uh, short and sweet. And I've already been going for 25 minutes now. So, what did we learn? Uh, first of all, the world still has a sense of humor, and thank you so much, Paul Mars, for doing this. It's nice to see that because, quite frankly, you can be so stoic uh, sometimes that you lose um, sight of humor, and that's. That is actually a whole debatable subject, and I won't even get into it tonight. I'm not going to. It's it was it's a comical night. <clears throat> so number one, thank you, Paul. Really appreciate it. Truly. Number two, Teddy is clearly like the overachiever, overdoer, try hard. That's always positive, no matter what. Cat's the follower, and Panda's the one that's like. Just everything sucks. But again, they're still getting along and they're still tromping through life, right? And that's what it's all about. So all I can tell you is uh, it, it really gives me a little more. So I would pick the book up if I were you. Again, it's great. You can put it in your bathroom. You see how big it is. It's literally the size of your hand, right? And I mean, you saw how fast we go through it, you know, but I'm going to. I'll read it to y'all and discuss it over maybe a couple hours, you know, but realistically, if you take the type of shits that I do, you can, you can read it twice in one shit easy. So <laughs> don't know what tomorrow's show is going to be. Um, I will make it a part, but it's not going to be the focus. So it's not going to be on the, on the thumbnail. I will uh, re I'll be discussing Titanic because my wife and I kind of as part of our uh, uh, Valentine week Valentine's weekend we're going to see Titanic uh, IMAX 3D which is uh, out here locally and didn't want to be going to do that uh, so technically I think Valentine's is Valentine's is Tuesday right technically yeah I didn't want to be going out Tuesday and she doesn't either. We already have Super Bowl this weekend. I'm sure most of y'all are getting ready for that. I'm still trying to figure out where the hell I'm going to spend the Super Bowl. But uh, what I will tell you is uh, tomorrow I will briefly discuss Titanic. I think that'll be funny to look at that movie because what is it? So it came out in 97. Is that right? I believe so. So we're looking at 26 years. Is that right? 26. That's crazy, man. More than a quarter of a fucking century has gone by since Titanic came out. I remember when that was the coolest fucking thing in the world. Then Avatar was the coolest thing in the world. Cameron's had a few of those. Then Avengers. So, anyway... Uh, I love you all. You're all incredibly individual people. I would uh, individual people, not an individual people. <laughs> uh, I would appreciate it if uh, for those of you who pray, send out some prayers. For those of you that believe in karma and, and science, then just send out some positive vibes um, to my son and uh, to my family in general, but particularly to to uh, Skyler's twin brother. He's just, he's having a real difficult time and as much positive energy that can get his way, you know, hopefully he'll start to believe that things can be different. That's one of the hardest things when you're, when you're in a bad place is if you can't believe that it's going to be good, then it really never becomes good. Even when it is, even when it, things are going well, it doesn't appear that way to you if you're in that space, right? So, Just pray for him to, uh, if you will, see the positive things, have some gratitude and, and, and uh, thankfulness for the things that 
that he does have and the things that are going his way, right? Other than that, I truly love each and every one of you. If you ever need anything, if you ever want to talk, if you ever want to chat, shoot the shit, whatever, feel free to reach out to me. I'm always uh, around. I do not close myself off. I don't say no to pretty much anything. Um, and that's just who I am. So have a wonderful evening. Have a blessed evening. I will be back tomorrow night. Until then, may the stars shine bright. And so I will leave it with this. Uh, to blaze or not to blaze, there is no question. There is only to get high, to get by. Love all you guys. And I miss you, Sky. You can't have my phone number unless we running up the digits. Let me meditate. I just need a couple minutes. Trying to low bump me. My cajon is still the big ass. Bitch, I get high. I ain't looking at the clock.